Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we'll be talking about the Samsung, yeah, Cero TV. So let's go ahead and find out about this portrait mode television. So the Cero TV is one of the first portrait style TVs. It basically stands in your living room. It's not something that you can mount, but also it's a very interesting concept. Uh, it's a 43 inch television from Samsung and the unboxing experience is none like that I've ever seen. Uh, it comes in a box that stands, of course, in a portrait form. You must open it up that way and definitely need a friend to set this up just because you want to be able to lift the TV out of the box, set it up, uh, of course, connect a stand to it and get things running. Now, as a device and TV set, it is well built. It looks really nice. And Samsung does a really good job when they are designing and making the devices. And the Cero TV is no exception. Uh, I think it kind of falls in the line of the frame TVs. If you know the frame TVs that look like a, a poster out there, it's a really nice looking TV. And I think the Cero kind of flows in that direction. Um, it's something that can stay in a corner in your living room. And I like that. Or it can stay in a corner in your bedroom. And depending on your location, uh, I think this is something that kind of fits that. But the biggest thing, of course, with this TV is the fact that it can stay and play in portrait mode and then rotate over, of course, to landscape whenever you need it. Now, before we get into all that facsimile, uh, let's look at what we have with this TV. Uh, it has three HDMI ports, one with an ER, two USB ports at the back, well hidden. It's got a 4.1 speaker with a nice sub and the speakers sound really good. Uh, don't take my word, just, just take a quick listen. I think the speakers do sound really good and probably sound the best that I've heard from any Samsung TV, honestly. Again, there's more room at the bottom there to put house a bigger speaker system, giving you just more robust sound overall. So I think a lot of people will like uh, what you hear from this. Now it comes with a standard Samsung remote control, white. I do like the look of the remote. You do have, of course, your Netflix, Amazon buttons there, which is cool. All the buttons are similar, except on the top right-hand corner, there is the rotate button. That allows you to rotate the TV from, of course, portrait mode to landscape uh, for whatever content you're watching. Now, the thing that you'll notice is that, of course, this also runs the Samsung standard UI, uh, the, uh, of course, Tizen UI for the TVs, which works really well. And you can go through the TV options in portrait mode, but a lot of the applications uh, will want you to, of course, play in landscape. So if you're talking about, like a Netflix, uh, that will open up to landscape uh, as well. So it's gonna automatically rotate once you hit the Netflix button and then it goes there. And some things will play in portrait mode like Samsung TV Plus, or even when you are gaming, yes, you can play games in um, portrait mode and of course hit that button and it will rotate into of course landscape. So those capabilities are there. Now um, in terms of gaming you're thinking okay so does it have a game mode? Yes it does have a game mode. Um, this is an HDMI 2.1, HDMI 2.0 but it handles games pretty well. It was able to play quite effectively and also the rotating from portrait to landscape was quite interesting overall. So now the question is, what do you really use this kind of TV for? What's the whole idea of something like this? Well, I think it's the ability to connect with your smartphone. That's what Samsung has pushed. And the idea that you can mirror your phone to this device and then you can go through different applications. So if you're watching a lot of TikTok, this makes a lot of sense because you can put it on there. You can go through your Twitter feed. And the cool thing is once you mirror your smartphone to the device, if you rotate your smartphone, it rotates the TV and you get that ability to go ahead and uh, you know, watch your content that way. So if you're on Twitter and you, there's a video that's of course in landscape, you rotate the TV, it rotates that way, and you can watch the video. Or even if you're watching something like Peacock as a streaming service, which tends to be in a portrait mode, but you can of course move it of course to landscape. So I get that. To me, this, there's really not much practicality, at least for my day-to-day -day use, for TV like this, but I can see it fitting in a lot of people's homes, especially in the corner right there. So behind me, of course, you guys can clearly see the TV set. 
and it's nice that it's there. So if you've got a smaller apartment, this actually will fit in. The, the space it takes up is really smaller, especially because it's a 43 inch TV, as opposed to say 55 or 65. And it can take up that kind of, you know, small footprint. The one thing I wish Samsung added to was a pop-up camera, something you could use for video calls, for instance, especially in this day and age where we're doing a lot of Zoom calls, we're doing a lot of video calls to family, if you're staying at home, that kind of thing would be nice. And also using it as a mirror, because then you can use it for self-styling mirror, you can use some AR functionality. Those are the kinds that I would have loved to see on this TV set to kind of take it beyond just the idea that it's a TV. Now, is this TV for you? Probably not. Is this TV for a lot of people? No, no. But it actually works well, and it does what Samsung says you should do. Now, it's priced at about 1500 maybe 1600 depending on what you check. Uh, and I would say it's solid. It really is solid. It does what it's supposed to do. I can use it for other functionality, but it is uh, more of an accessory piece if you can afford to do that. And if you want, or if you want something small that will fit into your apartment and you can move from place to place, especially if you're not sure where to put up with your TV um, in your home or even in the studio. I would say if you've got a studio apartment, this will definitely work well. So that is the Cero TV from Samsung, uh, one that you know is in portrait mode and switches the landscape, carrying kind of, of course kind of like the LG Wing smartphone, but of course this came out first. Um, you also have some very decent app integration with of course the uh, Samsung SmartThings app where you can go in and control the TV set directly from your smartphone by either of course uh, using the remote control functionality or setting up some of the features on the phone, which is nice. So you've got the ability to switch between different layouts there. Like as you can see behind me, I've got a image of course of Le Million. I can switch over to Cinegraph, photos, posters, a clock, you name it. You've got all those features built in that. You can do that directly on the TV set itself, but it's nice to see that you can do it directly from your smartphone. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think about this kind of TV concept? Is this something you would use in a smaller uh, smaller home, a smaller apartment, maybe a studio? Uh, but just leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.